Hey guys, welcome back to Angels of Death. Last time Ray went crazy and ended up fainting. Danny has locked himself up with her, and now Zack has to go around the floor that is supposed to tell him more about Ray. Before we start, I want to say that this video will contain sensitive topics such as spousal abuse and child abuse. If this is a sensitive topic for you, now is the time to exit out of this video. You still here? Okay. Well then, let's get started. Oh, so this is going to be the um the um couple's room that died when they were stitched up. So maybe, so this is like Rachel. This is Rachel's floor, and those are a couple. Then maybe this is Rachel's house. Okay, be careful of the crack. So let's try down here first. The nameplate is hung on its room owner, huh? Do I have to hang the plate here? Oh, did it work? Yup. Hey, Dirt. If I push it with this, can I get in? I can get in. Whose room is this? Oh, the effects look really weird. It's just a plain old room. This looks weird. Bed. Nothing I can click on. It leaves made of fabric. It's empty. It's empty. Empty. Nothing to click on. What the? What the hell is this? A brush? Probably. Huh? A photo book? It's really messy. It would probably be annoying to look through. But it's important to look through. You must find out about Rachel. Hmm. A small key with this inside the box. Maybe it's the key to the thingy. Can I use this to open the box in the basement? Quite small key. What the hell was that? What the? Oh my god. Tits on the Christ! What the hell is Celine coming down for? I gotta get out of here before I'm making a pancake. Got out. Oh my god, that was such a close call. Oh. That was so close. Give me a break. Stop fucking with me, house. Whoever is in charge of this floor needs a lobotomy. What? A what? Maybe I'm the dumb one. Anyways. That's Rachel. Aw, oh, shit, it won't open. What is this place to Ray anyway? It's a house. Never mind, I got a key. At any rate, I guess I gotta keep going to find out more about her. Guess I'll head downstairs. Save. Which downstairs, though? The one with Reverend? Let's go, anyways. I wonder how Zack's gonna react when he finds out about Rachel or whatever she's do um and her secret. I'm pretty sure he'll be like, I don't care, stuff like that. How are you progressing? Shut up. I gotta I almost got squished into some crazy goddamn room. I see. But I did find a key. Well that's good news. Just shut it. Shut up. Hey, it was being nice. Okay. Seriously? The one time I don't have to go into my inventory to get to do stuff is at the end of part four. Seriously? It opened. Oh, music box. So it plays one of... It so it plays music when it opens. It's creepy, but a good song. Under the scenario, it's creepy, but... It's all just a pile of goddamn junk, and all it reeks of it reeks of kid plays things. There's something hit There's something inside. Ah, another plate with the writing inside. It's smaller than the one before, plus the writing's not as long. 
It says Ray's name, doesn't it? it? Feels like I've seen this writing before. Guess I'll get going. Hey, do I use the, this plate on the same one as before? Ah, so you found another one. It has to be handled in the same manner as the one before it. Is that so? What troubles you? Are you curious about the inscription? Yes, he is. If you wish to know, then I shall read it for you. Never mind. Don't read it. Are you not curious? Even if I was, I don't feel like having someone tell me. I see. So he's gonna try to find out by himself? Oh wait, what's in here? Man, it reeks. No way I'm going in there. Well, that's rude. So this is definitely Ray's house. Now I'm curious as to what happened to uh, make her be this, um, crazy. The nameplate. This is bound to be where I'm supposed to use it. I still don't know how- whose name is- this is, though. It's Ray's. Oh well, just as long as it opens. Okay, it opened. It'll open if I push this. What? I know I've seen this plate's writing somewhere before. Huh. That's right, the papers that fell out of Ray's bag. Oh! Ah! It might as well be in gibberish. I can't read it! Hey. There's a photograph, so this must be Ray's. And what's these numbers? It says Ray's is 13 and mine's 20. Oh, ages. Is it our ages? Okay, so the space between the photographs and ages are our names? First letter in reading name matches the first letter on the plate. And the next letter also matches the next letter on the plate, so it is hers. It's her room. And the next one's. Oh, he figured it out. They all match. Ta -da -da. Oh, what's that creepy music that happens when you reach a surprising thing? But what do you know? I knew I'd seen them before. So that means this is Ray's room, huh? What the hell is her room doing here anyway? Oh well. Never mind that. I'm curious about what's in store for me next. Given that what's been going on so far with this house, I bet nothing good is waiting for me in her room. That's true. Well, there's no point in overthinking stuff. This will go a bit further down the rabbit hole. Can't say I'm not curious. Oh, more blood. Is this her room? The floor is bright red. Is that normal? Or is that batshit crazy? I've got no clue. Neither, neither, neither do I. It's a bed. Books. Can't you read all these? You gotta be kidding me. I seriously don't get... It kind of feels weird looking at the bed and the um, bookshelf because it looks so different from how the game is. But I guess it's supposed to work like that in order for it to, you know... It's obviously not real. They smell like flowers, but they're actually fake. Sure are flowers all over. But why are all of them fake? Ain't got nothing. Does this thing turn on? I gotta be prepared for what's in store, Zack says. 
as he sits down and watches TV, leaving his guard down. In blank, blank, the remains of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner were discovered at their private residence. Ah, oh, that's her parents. Did she kill her parents? Based on the blade inflicted slashes and bullet holes on the remains, the incident is being treated as a homicide. Found more than a week after death, the remains are badly mutilated, having been sewn together unnaturally with thread. She killed them. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel Gardner, was safely taken into protective custody. However, reports indicate that due to her exhibiting signs of trauma, she is currently being questioned about the incident. Wait, that makes no sense, though, if she killed them. Why did she um, come here for someone get, seeing someone get killed? Did her parents kill, um, did one of her parents kill the other and then kill themselves and then she sued them together? Oh, Rachel, why don't we have a bit of an in-depth talk about our, for our session today? It's alright, there's nothing to fear. Ah, I got it. How about I talk about myself this time for a change? I got her peaked. Aha! Uh -huh. You looked at me. I knew it. Your peepers are so beautiful. Even then you were a creep. Well, um, to tell you the truth, one of my eyes are made of glass. I was born without an eye, you see. When I was a child, my mother would worry herself sick about it. Just worried and worried, with such dark peepers, dark and tranquil peepers. As her child, my silhouette in them was only fleeting. Even so, I still loved my mother. Her peepers were so precious. So even as a kid, you were a creep. Rachel, did you hate your parents? She nod. Oh. No. Well, then why did you think you cut and sew them up? Oh, so he told her? They took. I mean, she told him? Oh, she's. I wanted a family. Oh, that is so messed up. That is so messed up. I see. How did you become to feel this way? How? Good question. Ah, come to think of it, didn't you find a puppy in the alleyway near your house? It was tiny and cute, yet so fragile. I wanted to keep that puppy so, puppy so bad. But I would get in trouble if I took it home. First I went home to tell them about the puppy. Oh, this looks so different from her actual home. And what's with the like paint splatter thing? <gasps> oh my god, that scared me. That was so loud. Ah, uh, why do you always contradict me? Well, who would listen to an alcoholic for the start? For a start, I was out working all day, and I hate being here at this house. Ha ha ha, that's quite the mouth you got there. Who the hell you use? Who the hell has use for some wino cop like you? Oh, tell me another one, you bitch. Alcohol is less poisonous than shit coming out of your mouth. Damn. Oh my god. You're hurting me. Stop. Stop it. I'm unhappy having wound up with a psycho psychotic wife like you. No doubt because your very existence is a wretched one. Tell me. Why are you so unhappy? Ah! You're the one that made me this way. It's your fault. All your fault. Fault. Oh my god. That's more than just fighting. They're in the kitchen today. I wonder if they'll listen to me. Oh my god. Can I save? Like, oh my god. 
Don't tell me they abuse Rachel, too. That would make me understand why she's so messed up. Although, even now, she'd be pretty messed up with a family like this. Even if she wasn't abused. Gotta tell them about the puppy. I don't... I don't think now's a good time to tell, talk to them. Uh... Why are you walking around so late? Not talking as usual, huh? Do you got half a brain in that head of yours? Um, I'm pretty sure she's just afraid that you'll beat her up if you if she says something wrong. Oh, so you got something to say to me? You're the wife. Hold it. Where do you think you're going with that money? Booze? Some whores? <laughs> Plan on making me miserable again. Stop laughing. It gets on my nerves. I'm off to buy my own happiness. Is that so? Then while you're out, can you buy me my happiness too? Go buy some happiness for an unhappy wretch like me. Not you. Not only are you unhappy, but you also gotta burn through all the, mo the money. Says so you. You're about to buy some booze and stuff like that. Some kind of mental case that can't even en make ends meet. Oh, it's always my fault, is it? You always blame me. Ah, you foul bastard. Your filthy hands have soiled even my own life. Your brain, your body, and your attitude are all soaked with booze. Oh my god. They, he, she, what? I can't even speak. This is like horrible. Hey, Dad, um, uh, everything about this family is miserable. I gotta have booze to cope. Don't run away from hell, the hell you created. It's you. You are the one screwing me up, screwing this family up. It's not my fault. It's all yours. Oh my god. Ow, you're hitting me, you good for nothing. Shut the fuck up, you crazy bitch. Marrying you is the worst thing that ever happened to me. Oh my god. This is, like, one of the worst families I've ever seen. I don't want to hit anyone, but you're asking for it. A creepy bitch who can't understand what this crazy bitch is thinking. My life's hit rock bottom because of both of you. Both of you fucked it up. Oh my god. He's supposed to be a cop too? That's horrible. Mom, one day, oh, one day, I will kill him. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta make them listen. I'm sorry guys, I can't even speak right now. Not after that. I'll shoot him. If something happens to me, I'll fight back with this. Is that a gun? I'll use this to kill that bastard. I'll show him. Now I've got a secret weapon hidden here. When that time comes, that bastard will blubber like a baby. He'll regret everything. He'll bow down and tell me I was right all along. It didn't have to be this way. This happened because of him. Mom. Ray. What is it? Mom. I gotta talk to you about something. Um. I can't deal with you right now. The kitchen's a dreadful mess. And I gotta clean it up. I'm not in the state to be listening to whatever you have to say. She seems somewhat caring about us. I'm glad. Please listen. You'll get mad if I don't ask for permission first, right? He spoke too soon. <laughs> I can't I can't do the laugh, I'm sorry. Amazing. Even my own daughter won't do what I she's told. Don't you know? Your being here has gotten me stuck in this hell. Your very ex 
existence is detestable. It's like I'm dealing with your worthless father. It makes me sick to my stomach. Oh my god, this whole family is so bad. I can understand I can understand why Rachel's so messed up. Now go upstairs to your room. Mom, if I listen to you, then will you listen to me? Go. Now. Don't make me any more of a miserable, miserable and cruel mother than I already am. At least she already knows. Nobody's listening to what anybody has to say. Why is that? Mom was hiding something over there. Her secret weapon to make herself heard. A handgun. Is that the handgun that we carried throughout the game? So something's like this. So something like this was here. A secret weapon. In the end, nobody listened to what I had to say. And then a while later, I went to go visit that puppy. The puppy was already weak, likely to fall over dead any moment. When I reached out to pet that puppy, it bit me. Understandable, life had treated it so cruelly. After that, everything I got- After that, everything until I got home was hazy. When I came to, I was in my room, fixing that puppy. Oh god. But I was soon found out. Gosh, mom and dad were fighting really loud that day. What a good boy. Such a good boy. That's so messed up. I could just eat you up. I want you to stay with me forever. It's okay. Don't be scared. It's all your fault. There's something wrong with her because you're crazy. No, it's your fault that the kid's abnormal. Uh, I can't stand it anymore. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I was... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Gosh, it's really bad today. The kitchen, guess I'll take a peek. Oh my god, oh my god. Do I have to look? Okay, this is actually kind of creeping me out. I'm scared of my own house now, at the moment. I vividly, I vividly remember what I saw in there. Oh my god. What are you doing? So you saw that, huh? Didn't you? Oh my god. I never had a use I never had a use for after all all along. Everything here just makes me miserable. He's gonna come after us, that's why. You too must die. Oh, how awful. Simply awful. Ah, uh, the puppy, I gotta get to my room. Oh, at least I don't have to run. Come to think of it, Mom was hiding a gun for this moment. In that case, it's okay for me to take it then. It's loaded. Oh. Acquired her handgun. I gotta hurry to my room. Okay, I made it. Thank God. It's safe. Don't be afraid. There's no need to worry. I mean, I really have no choice here. This is so messed up. You think your father's crazy, Ray? 
But Ray, you're just as crazy as me. Running to your room and talking to that thing? Something's not right with you. Why don't you open that box? Oh my god. Ah, uh, just as I thought, you're insane. What the hell did you do to that dog? It's a patchwork corpse. That dog, you killed it, didn't you? Oh my god, did we seriously do that? Did stitching up its belly and sewing its mouth shut feel good? Oh my god. No. Okay, so after this, I'm definitely going to go downstairs and I'm going to pet all my dogs. And I'm going to hug them. I'm going to hug the shit out of them after this. It's just... It just became mine. It became my perfect puppy. Hey, Dad. Become my perfect father. Become my perfect daddy. Look at the glint in her eyes. There was like a red glint to them. <sighs> so that's the patch of blood right there. It's alright. I'll fix you. Oh my god. Afterwards, I sewed mom and dad to each other. I did it so they long uh, get along with each other. Then I replaced dad's bad arm with the stuffed toys. I sewed mom's mouth shut so she made a big smile. That was my perfect dad and mom. This is going to be interesting to see in the anime, but it's so horrible. All three of us played all, all day every day with our puppy. Oh, it was so much fun. So when the police took them all away from me, I was so sad. I see what you mean. I understand your sadness, Rachel. Can I ask you one more thing? After that, a little animal died on, at the orphanage that you took, it, you took you in. Do you know why? Did you do that too? Yeah. Hey, why did so why did you feel the need to stitch it up too? I heard you absolutely adored that pup. Um, she became obsessed with perfect. I adored him. I did adore him. That's right. I really loved him, but it wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be? Yeah, there was something I wanted. I wanted something for my family, something to call my own. But for some reason, things never played out like they should. Never played out like they should, huh? So Rachel, you want to have you want something to call your own? You want more things to call your own, do you? Hmm. Oh, he's wearing his eyes. Oh, never mind. Rachel, my mother took her own life. My eye is what killed her. Your papers bear a striking resemblance to the ones I last saw of my mother's. Dark, tranquil, and most of all, beautiful. I'm in love with your papers. I hope the dark glow in them sparkles for eternity. A steadfast glow that will grant all your wishes in the world. Right, Ra Rachel? Oh my god. Is this supposed to be like static or something? This is kind of like a weird static to me. Oh my god. That scared me. Did Zack break the TV? He did. That's fucking sickening. I can agree with you. I think everyone can agree on with you on that. What the hell are you showing me this for? It was important to understand Rachel's past. 
Is this supposed to tell me something about Ray? Yes. The handgun needle thread in the corpse stall in that run room. Rachel Gardner. Ray. So this is her floor, huh? He finally realized. Which means the killer here is... Her. Guess I'll get going. If that eyeball freak still doesn't let me into that room, he's got one th another thing coming. Mm -hmm.